just like you negotiate your salary, you can negotiate working remotely. You would go through the same process as you would if you were currently working and you wanted a raise, you wanted a promotion, right? And here's, I'm gonna give you three things that you can do to have that discussion about um, working at home so you can stop commuting. The first thing you wanna do is assess the tasks that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And even though, you know, if they change from day to day based on certain things, the core tasks that you do in that role, you wanna list those um, down. Because as you're writing, you'll think about certain things that you also do in conjunction with what you're writing down. So it's good to write it down versus just pulling your job description because we, we all know that typically we do more than what's on the job description, right? So write down your task on a day-to-day -day basis. That's the first thing. The second thing that you wanna do is of those tasks that you've written down, which of those tasks require you to be in the office? It's, they couldn't get done without you being in the office. Um, whatever the case is, you want to separate your list by those things that require you to be in the office and those things that you can do remotely, right? And so once you have your list, I want you to look at it before you share this. I want you to look at it. So this is just a part of part two, like an A and a B this would be the B. Um, I want you to look at it and say, oh man, I didn't realize that for 70% of my job, I actually do need to be in the office. So maybe this isn't a good time for the conversation. Or you may come up with, you know what? 80% of my job I can do at home. So, you know, I definitely need to have this conversation, right? So that's what I want you to think about once you get that list out. And then the third and final thing is you want to kind of uh, create your story that you're going to, to share and, and kind of almost build your case, right? Because you always, when you go in to negotiate, whatever the case may be, you want to be prepared, right? And so assess what you have and then share your knowledge, right? And be forthright and honest about everything that you compiled there on the list and you may even want to do some research and see because there are some some data points around those that are not commuting and those that are in your field so you can do your research and have that data as leverage also and if this is something um that you want assistance with an action plan to go have that conversation with leadership you can always click the link in my bio that says start your transformation is the very first link and i'll definitely be happy to assist you with that all right let me know if this helps